When you think of the Middle Ages, you don't exactly imagine flame-throwing spears, do you? Well, that's exactly what's going on in China. The Fire Lance, or Huo Qiang, is a spear with a tube of incendiary gunpowder attached to it. It's capable of propelling a burst of flame up to 3 meters far, and would burn out after several minutes. As in, a spear with a miniature rocket attached to it. It was useful in both defense and offense, a tool alongside weapon. The stream of fire was quite the obstacle for attacking troops, and was capable of burning siege weapons and terrifying horses. On the flip side, the fire lands could just as easily burn down wooden fortifications, such as palisades and stakes. It also saw naval use, for repelling borders, or lighting wooden houses and sails. Fire wasn't the only thing the fire lands could spew. It could pack poison smoke, which went straight through armor, leaving them helpless for the spear tip. And for the aspiring tactician, a smoke load to generate protective smoke screens to cover your movements. Multiple colors of smoke were available, and smoke lances were used for signaling. Later in their development, fire lances were used for shooting, becoming the first proto guns. They could fire lead balls, pellets, or even arrows. The ammo and powder loads could be mixed and match, making for a truly versatile weapon. A weakness of the fire lance was that each tube could only be fired once, and reloading in the midst of battle wasn't exactly feasible. Which is exactly why multi-tube fire lances were used, letting them last longer. Alternatively, you could unload all tubes at once, proportionally upping your firepower. The tubes were initially made of bamboo, and were one time use only. Slowly over time, they evolved into metal tubes, allowing for stronger gunpowder without exploding. Metal lances were reusable, and could be used as bludgeons, but the bamboo ones never quite left. Bamboo tubes were far lighter, and easier to make. Not to mention bamboo's availability, with its absurd growth rate. We even have records of paper-based ones, which were somehow reusable. There was a fire lance rack used for resupply, holding a mixture of fire lances, various guns, and crossbows, really handy for maintaining fire. It's written that you could also fire all the weapons at once, if you really wanted something dead. Later on, there were attempts to create a flying fire lance with rockets. The tubes were meant to trigger mid-flight, bombarding the enemy from above. Eventually, a variant was created which could return to its owner after firing. There were two rockets attached to it, facing opposite ends of the lance. After releasing its payload, the rockets facing backwards would trigger, returning the lance to its owner. I use metrics to find out if people like the format, so like, comment, and sub. I want to make one on the Chinese rockets, but I want to find out if people like this style first.